Once again, this is Fat Man coming from the, the rolling uh, home we call home, our RV. Uh, this is one of those rare Sundays where I don't have a weekend pack full of stuff to do. The wife and I went to the fair yesterday. It was brutally humid. Uh, we did not spend this nearly as much time at the fair as we might have, uh, which is not necessarily a bad time. We had a good time. Uh, the crowds were, this Iowa State Fair uh, was extremely crowded. I mean, you literally had crowds in the crowd. You were just, it was terrible. You could hardly find a place to sit down. And you know, when you did, you just about didn't dare stand up for a minute because somebody would jump in your spot the, there was no wind to, sp to speak of which made it miserable uh, when you got into the venues for uh, various places you just were elbow to elbow with people and constantly trying to keep from either running over somebody or knocking somebody down when you get to be a pretty good sized guy and that was something my whole life I've dealt with uh, I've always been the big a big moose even when I was younger in more so that I try not to step on people's toes and I try not to just turn around rapidly because uh, I'm that immovable force in a lot of aspects. I've actually had people bounce off of me and fall down and it wasn't because I pushed them or anything. It's just that they somehow or another thought they were going to push past me and discovered that I'm pretty solid and I stand on some pretty thick legs and I don't maneuver like that. And then my wife will disappear behind me and I'm like, <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> and she's, I'm still here, honey, I'm still here. She held my hand through most of the fair because you, you almost had to. I mean, the, the crowds were that that bad. Uh, and then in such, I, I'd, I'd worked yesterday morning and I got off and I come back from uh, work. And I thought, well, we had planned to go out today. And I said, well, you know, it's still early. We could go yesterday. We just go ahead and go down there. And we did. And uh, in a hurry to leave, I left my, I left my phone. Uh, and her phone, and I intended to do a, a video or two while we were there, but the reality is it was just so noisy and so packed and so crowded. <clears throat> I don't see how that would have done well, and probably was for the best. I did get a couple pictures that are on her phone, and uh, one very crude video, both basically a panning of the street just to show just how crazy it is. And when I can figure out how to get her stuff over to my stuff, I'm going to post it for those who really don't care about that stuff no big deal but hey as we said this is day 13 of our 30 day challenge 31 day challenge in reality because i looked at the calendar for august of this year there's 31 days something about leap year last year was a leap year this year was a leap year describe what it says just day 13 describe where your play has evolved where you might play well okay so from that perspective uh as I said in previous videos, I spend more of my time as a, as a game master, as a GM, than as a player. And I can, pound for pound, hour for hour, I can say I have 100 hours of game mastering to one hour of play. Now that is still a considerable amount of play considering I've been at this for 40 decades, or 40 years, so four decades and in, in, in counting. So I've had quite a bit of experience playing, but most of my repertoire belongs to this other side of the table. Uh, where it comes to developing uh, my character and how my, my play, you know, make sure how my play has evolved. Well, when I started out as a young man, uh, it was all about, it was a new system, it was great. Uh, it was about, you know, I guess in some aspects being the murder hobo. We didn't go out our way to slaughter everything, but we tried to really learn to invest ourselves in the game, and we became obsessed with character development and the getting the next best piece of, of kit. I mean, we want the better sword, we want the better armor, or the better magic, or this and this and this, and that was pretty much that was a big primary part of what our goal was and our purpose as a player. Over the decades as a player, I've become more vested in the game, in the story. I've become more in tune with making my character a part of the group, part of the uh, campaign experience and to try to become uh, one with the story that's being spun and that's a challenge too for some people I know that in the early days a lot of times and I see this with uh, sometimes when when I get a, a, a number of brand new people together who have never really played before uh, not played with each other literally just never played before and getting the concepts now older players tend to get it a little quicker than the younger players it's not about keeping score 
although the game systems, the the character sheets, the character development, all that emphasizes keeping score because that's what we're doing. We're, we're keeping, we're, we're gaining experience in some form. That way we can level up or advance our characters, develop them further. Uh, the individual stats and skills and feats and all this other stuff. Well, what we're doing is we're building up the next thing. We want this character to be better at what they, we want them to do or be more have a more variety of options. And so we're focusing on, okay, I've achieved this goal. Well, here's my next, my next, my next, my next. And that's, well, an important piece of the pie. It's not the entire pie. Uh, when the uh, idea is that uh, we're trying to develop a world character, a history. That's a different sort of thing. I think, you know, there's some arguments and good stuff on that. But that has that. I don't know if it answers the question or not, or if I just rambled even more. That's what I'm going to stick with and move on to the next thing. Thank you very much.